Surely, surely the Season 19 map update is going to be good because we've been waiting two whole seasons for this thing. This was teased back in Season 17, so what's happening? Well, we can actually tell a lot from the trailer. And first of all, Fish Farms is seemingly massively changing and it's going to have the old buildings hoisted into the air and new buildings replacing it. And also seemingly a big HQ building on the left. We do get a few shots of this HQ building in the trailer, but we don't know if there's multiple, but there's definitely one around Fish Farms. And also in the moments where Fish farms present you can see a crane in the background which is also seemingly at fish farms and there's going to be new roads joining the points of interest so if you go down the road away from fish farms down to launch pad it seems there's a new point of interest here at least from the trailer's perspective because there's this big h2 machine now i'm not entirely sure if this is going to be like the harvester of storm point but it does look pretty cool and also a very big point of interest but that's not it there's seemingly going to be a third point of interest and this is just above ship pool you can see it at the start of the trailer ship falls there and there's a new point of interest here and it's seemingly just a load of random buildings i don't think there's anything major to this point of interest like a major thing except that weird tower in the middle but there's also going to be something behind ship fall which is crazy so already we have three identifiable point of interest and then also we have another potential point of interest further up the map around lightning rod as there was a watson town takeover data mined up there and there were a few shots in the trailer of areas we still don't know about yet and there have been a lot of recent watson town takeover data mines in the files so it is coming very soon so there may even be a fourth point of interest in this storm point map update it's going to be huge and i guess they're putting so much effort into it because it's going to be in algs next year again so what are your thoughts on this update i think it's going to potentially pay off for a whole season without map updates and subscribe